people who saved themselves for marriage and eventually got divorced, what was your approach towards sex after the divorce? One of my lifelong friends comes from an extremely Christian family. All three kids were taught how bad sex before marriage is. Two of the three ended up with children out of wedlock. My close friend of these siblings saved herself but ended up rushing into marriage with very little self-awareness and found herself in a completely sexually and otherwise incompatible marriage. All three are divorced at least once now. One has more baby mamas than I can keep track of. After my friend's divorce she abandoned the no sex before marriage business. She didn't have any wild escapades but developed strong sexual and otherwise chemistry with her now husband. Her parents still tried to shame them. It was a clusterfuck to watch over the years. Got married in my mid-twenties, not realizing that asexuality was even a thing, let alone that I could possibly apply to a good Christian boy who had saved himself purity culture in some Christian circles can be a really rough time. We were married for about a year and a half, and I only ever came once from sex or sexual interaction with her. It was really rough for both of us. The hits to her self-esteem, the belief that I was broken in some way. Over time we just stopped really trying. A whole lot of other factors played into the split but that was definitely one of them. I spent a couple of years after avoiding all possible romantic entanglements. Then ventured out a little and found some open-minded people who I briefly dated here or there. It was nice to be close to someone again and I have found that I really like making other people have a good time. There is something immensely satisfying to me to be the cause of someone else's satisfaction. But it can be a little hard for a partner since I am so devoid of sexual reaction. It takes a fair bit of reassurance and good communication to keep that stuff good and healthy. And so they don't feel like they are using me or that I find them repulsive or whatever. Still a work in progress I guess. I, now 38 meters waited until I was 20. I gave myself to her because I was sure I wanted to wake up next to her for the rest of my life. I felt like we balanced each other for fun and work. We met while I was in college and we worked at a pizza place. She gave me a positive pregnancy test for Christmas and I was happy as hell. After getting married she seemed to be focused on money and comparing our lives to others. It ended soon after. I got my bachelor's and continued to make good money. But the grass was always greener elsewhere to her. Everyone told me after the divorce I just needed to get laid to get over her. Sex to me. Was and is still special. I have only experienced it between myself and three others. I feel that it is more meaningful when that trust and love is earned. I knew a girl that was very hands-off prior to marriage. I never really thought too much about it until I went to her wedding and before they kissed the pastor made the announcement that this will be their first kiss and I was blown away that they have never kissed before. But after their you may now kiss the bride kiss it was obviously their first kiss. The rest of the wedding and reception went well enough and I heard nothing from them for a few months until someone told me they are getting a divorce. Less than six months later, I have a few theories on why. I think the bride is asexual and either never realized it or did not reveal that prior to getting married. She got a bunch of tattoos after the divorce. Full chest ink. Sleeves. But I never heard of her dating after. But we're not close. I used to think I was asexual when it came to being in a relationship with guys. When it came to get fiical it's like something would just turn off in my head. I didn't think anything of it. I just thought it was shyness. Turns out I was just really gay. Mom didn't have sex for 8 years after getting divorced. She's a devoted Christian for sure. Unfortunately. She got drunk and ruined her 8 year streak got it on with my boyfriend's dad. Sigh. Are you going to be dating your stepbro here soon? My first mate and I. Though didn't wait till marriage. We did not have sex with anyone else till each other. We are on the road to divorce paperwork tomorrow. She's had sex since the breakup. And I have not it's been almost a year. For me. The physical and emotional are tied closely to each other. I haven't yet found someone I have the emotional connection with in order to have the equal physical connection. I'm not saving myself for marriage however. I've been called prude, old-fashioned, naive, etc. for being unable to act physically without the emotions to drive it. I've even hurt people by refusing sex communication about how you and others work, what your boundaries are and why, as well as expectations are key in any relationship. My suggestion, take the time during the divorce to learn who you are, what you want, what you don't want, and don't listen to other people's expectations or guidance on the sex you should or should not be having. Do what is right for you. Do it purposefully. Do it consciously. Do it wholeheartedly. And of course, do it with consent. I saved myself for marriage and thought my fiancé was super sweet and supportive for waiting with me even though he didn't want to. 
turns out he was so okay with it because he was doing other chicks behind my back. And he didn't stop doing other chicks when we got married either. Once we got divorced I pretty much just didn't care anymore. I'm still not capable of having sex with someone I don't believe I'm in love with. But I don't care about virginity or body count or anything like that anymore. I've had 5 long term boyfriends. So I've slept with 5 people total. I don't ever feel bad about it or regret sleeping with them. And I don't feel like having one night stands or casual sex is a bad thing by any means either. I just personally don't want to have sex with someone unless I believe I'm in love with them. My scenario was a bit unique in that my ex-husband and I never did the deed in our marriage. After the divorce, I really couldn't wait to lose my V-card. I had to suppress my sexuality for so long that my mindset was just to let loose and have some fun. But then I met a really lovely man and we hit it off really well. We're so compatible in many ways especially in the bedroom and I have no desire to know what sex would be like with someone else. Would I tell others to wait for marriage? Probably not. But doing it with someone you are deeply in love with is one of the most amazing things in the world and it's worth waiting for that person to come into your life. Similar story but no marriage. I was with a gay guy 3 years so there was obviously no sex. When he came out I was like f*** it. I'm gonna make up for lost time with a bunch of one night stands. I wanted the first time to be with someone hot. So I picked a guy based off looks alone and made my move. He was supposed to be the first of many but we ended up getting along really well and now we're married and that's how I accidentally waited for the right guy. This was my wife. We've been divorced for 3 years and I'm pretty sure she hasn't had sex since, and won't until she gets married again. So she's apparently been true to her principles. In our conservative Lebanese society, after the first divorce, you get a free pass actually. Some people would talk about you, but a lot of conservative people would just tell them she's divorced. She can do what she wants. I only partially fit here because my husband is the only person I've ever been with. We come from a yeeha town that teaches abstinence as their sex ed. Lots of teen pregnancy here. For reference, I was shocked when my husband put it in. I didn't know it went in there. We didn't wait until we were married to have sex. But we did stay together all through high school and college and I have never been with anyone else he had sex with a previous girlfriend. We now have two children together and are going to approach the whole sex talk very differently than our parents did. Whether they're ready or not, teens have sex. I would rather my children be educated and safe when they're ready to take that step. As far as sex goes, I just can't really picture sex with anyone else get turned on by the thought of sex with anyone else. I only know what sex with him is like and he knows my body and what I like so I have no complaints. He's my best friend and I don't ever see us getting a divorce. But if we did I imagine I would have a pretty hard time wanting to have sex with anyone else not for religious reasons. This is probably gonna weird people out that I know this. But my mom. I know she could be lying but her and I are painfully open with one another. She was raised at a private Catholic school growing up and claims she never had sex before marrying my dad in their late 30s and I'm very inclined to believe her. They adopted us me and my twin sister when she was 43 and presumably couldn't have kids. My dad cheated on my mom with his current and third wife when I was two and a half and my mom hasn't even been on a date since. She's very content with being single she's 70 and has been single for 25 years. She said she got coffee with a guy when we were four but thought he was weird. She wouldn't qualify it as a date. I think my mom would go out with someone but she doesn't care enough to look. She's not on dating apps. If she met some dude at the garden store and he just asked her out she would probably say yes. It just doesn't happen. By and large I'm pretty sure my mom just wants to hang out with my aunt her sister and best friend in garden. Good question. I'm an ex-Mormon and was a virgin when I got married at 21. Was married for over 6 years had a good, active sex life. And when I got divorced 2 years back, it was a strange new world. I was excited to have sex with new people. But I quickly found after a handful of hookups that it wasn't always that great. There were some exceptions obviously. But I often find that people who haven't been in long-term relationships are pretty lousy in bed. Having a bunch of one night stands doesn't make you better at emo. Getting to know someone's body and experimenting does. If I could do it over again, I wouldn't have saved myself for marriage. The best sex I've had has been after my divorce. I have a general rule now that I won't have sex on the first date. I like having more of an emotional connection with the other person. It's more enjoyable that way for me. This doesn't apply to me. But I do have a friend who is in this boat. His approach has been to swear off relationships and be celibate for the rest of his life. Well that's one way to handle it I guess. Sounds like he will be the only one handling it.
I kinda fit this. I was only with one person voluntarily and was date raped by the next man before I got married. I was a lonely fool and married my ex after only 3 weeks of dating. Of course I got pregnant right away. The next 20 years were full of abuse of every imaginable type. I won't go into it here. Check my post history if you're that curious. After my husband tried to kill me. He went to prison and I divorced him immediately. The last 6 years have been with a wonderful, adventurous partner and I've done everything I've ever wanted to try with him. I've had more sex with him in 6 years than I did with my ex in 20 years. Plus, not being raped is nice. 